Chinese media quoted former Minister of Finance Lo Jiwei, continue to communicate and strive to return to the path of normal competition and cooperation between China and the United States. The following is the content of the article. The global economic challenges in the near future are mainly the dislocation of the international economic cycle. Our country's economy is recovering at the bottom. In the medium and long term, the main problem is the prevalence of protectionism. In addition, the superimposed panpoliticization and pan-national security have posed major challenges to us and need to be seriously dealt with. On December 23, Lo Jiwei, chairman of the Global Wealth Management Forum and former Minister of Finance, said at the 2023 annual meeting of the China Wealth Management 50 Forum that the wave of anti-globalization will continue in the medium to long term and we need to take strong and effective measures. Measures to deal with it, one is to build confidence. The second is to implement effective policies. To properly handle the relationship with neighboring countries, the transfer of some domestic industries to Southeast Asia is driven by comparative interests and also under the coercion of risk removal. We must provide understanding, guidance and support to keep the core industrial chain in China. The third is to be self-reliant and self-reliant. To a certain extent, Decoupling will also force China to innovate independently in key technological fields, providing market space for China's initial technologies. For example, in the chip field, mature processes of 48 nanometers and above account for more than 80% of China's imported chips. In the past, Chinese companies were able to manufacture them, but the demand side considered cost-effectiveness more. Now they have to consider more the risk of supply interruption and eliminate risks. This will bring market space to domestic manufacturers. We can keep up with the world through continuous optimization and iteration of advanced process chips. The fourth is to persist in expanding opening up, unswervingly promote high-level and high-standard institutional development, and accelerate the formation of a new development pattern with the domestic cycle as the main body and the domestic and international dual cycles reinforcing each other. The international rules in the future will be efficiency and risk. A new form of balance. We should take the initiative in formulating rules and participate more in rulemaking in areas with multilateral consensus, such as addressing climate change and energy security, to promote multilateralism and globalization. Fifth, policy toward the United States is the focus. The first approach taken by the United States is the new Cold War, which seeks to create two parallel economic and institutional systems. This logic was successful in the competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. However, unlike the historical situation of the competition between the United States and the Soviet Union, we are currently the second largest economy, the largest manufacturing country in deeply integrated with the world economy, supplying 35% of the world's intermediate goods and investments. Goods Trade Therefore, the new Cold War will bring an unbearable burden to the United States and the world. And will not be recognized by its allies. It is estimated that the United States has realized that it is impossible to decouple from China, and will also suffer the adverse effects of harming its own interests. Now that the two sides have established two working groups in the economic field, the two sides should continue to strengthen communication and strive to return to the normal track of competition and cooperation.